What up, Bills Mafia? Z-Bot here with you from the Buffalo Fanatics, and today we are going to be opening up a pack of NFL NFTs from NFL All Day by Dapper Labs, and I'm also going to be showing you the Buffalo Bills NFTs that I purchased that are currently in my collection. Let's jump right into it. So first, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is an NFT? Well, an NFT is a non-fungible token. And I'm sure that meant absolutely nothing to you again. Believe me, I tried explaining this to my dad the other day. I might as well have been speaking a different language. The best way I can describe an NFT to you is that it's a virtual trading card. When you buy the virtual trading card, you are now the owner of that particular moment. So in this instance, with NFL All Day, each pack contains moments throughout the 2021 NFL season. Some are considered commons, meaning that they're more common and that there's thousands of them made. Some of them are rare, meaning that there's a lot less of them made and they're harder to get. And then there's the legendary tier. Very, very few of these made. And that's why they're so sought after, so rare and so pricey. Some of these moments are incredibly expensive. Patrick Mahomes, he had a moment, a legendary moment sell for just north of $30,000. This hobby is no joke. People do not mess around. There is a ton of money in this new type of collecting. Now, everything I'm talking about here, you're still probably confused. I'm confused too. All of this is brand new. What it is essentially, like I mentioned earlier, it's a virtual trading card, a virtual piece of art that you own. And right now it's really in its infancy stage, but I think as the years go on, this will gain popularity as we get more immersed into the internet. Think about it like this. We've all heard of the metaverse by now from Facebook. Years down the line when we're all wearing virtual headsets and we haven't been outside in three years, you're gonna be in your virtual world, your virtual man cave, whatever, and you'll have your Buffalo Bills NFT displayed on your virtual home's wall. So let's check out the website where it all goes down. Right here, we're at nflalday.com. And here on the main page is where you'd go to buy a pack. Now, as you can see, it's sold out. Now, these things sell quickly. When I bought the standard series one, week 13 pack the other day, I had to wait in a queue for over an hour. So the popularity for these is through the roof. I was able to get through and bought a pack. So before we open up the pack that I purchased, let's go over to the marketplace. Now the marketplace just launched the other day. This is brand new. And if you want to buy a pack when they drop, you have to currently be in the closed beta membership. I got in a couple days ago. That's why I was able to purchase a pack. But right now, in order to purchase a pack, you have to be within the closed beta. But anybody in the closed beta or out of the closed beta can purchase NFTs on the marketplace. Now, the marketplace is filled with every single NFT that has been dropped by NFL all day and is being resold by the collector. And there's a ton of them. As of right now, there's... Uh, 475 NFTs available, ranging from a variety of different price ranges, players, different types of plays, etc. Now, the majority of you watching are obviously interested in the Buffalo Bills, so let's go and check out what is available for the Bills on NFL All Day. So you go over here to the left, you can select all the different filters in order to find what you want. And so I selected Buffalo Bills underneath the team name. And right here is all of the available Buffalo Bills NFTs. And if I go through here, it seems that we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 18 Buffalo Bills NFTs currently available on NFL All Day. The most expensive and the most rare Buffalo Bills NFT is the Josh Allen Legendary NFT from Super Wild Card Weekend against the New England Patriots. The legendary game, of course, I'm wearing the t-shirt. The perfect game, we'll never forget it. 
And if you truly want to cement that moment into your life forever, you can purchase an NFT from that game. Now, this one isn't the only NFT from that game, but it definitely is the rarest and most desired. And as you can see, based on the listings here, the cheapest one currently is $6,017. So if you want to own this moment, the cheapest price is $6,017. If we go down to the recent purchases, we can see that this NFT has been purchased six times. And the cheapest one purchased was for $6,000 on February 25th. The crazy thing here is you see that two of them have been purchased for $9,000 or more. No joke, this NFT for Josh Allen is incredibly expensive. So you're thinking, okay, what am I buying here? When I fork over over six grand, what is it getting me? Well, here it is. I'm actually just noticing here in this Josh Allen NFT, I thought it was just a legendary touchdown to Dawson Knox. It's not, it features multiple touchdowns from Allen in the game against the Patriots in the divisional round. I'm just looking at this for the first time. When I first looked at it, I thought it was the play, strictly the play, to Dawson Knox in the corner of the end zone. This is actually every single one of Josh Allen's touchdowns against the Patriots in the perfect game in Wild Card Weekend. Not saying it's worth $6,000 because of that, but now I, I understand a little bit more why the price tag is high. It's a legendary one because it's very rare. There's only 56 of them but it also features every single touchdown that Josh Allen had in this game. The variety of moments that are available on the marketplace for the most part only feature one play. This particular NFT features every single one of Josh Allen's touchdowns against the Patriots in that legendary game. So like I said, it, six grand, not gonna be me. I'm not pulling the trigger on it if you want to. I got all the respect in the world for you, but it's cool in the sense that it features every single touchdown from that game in a game where every single Bills fan will remember for the rest of their life and will always say was probably if, and will always say was the greatest offensive performance in NFL history. So like I said, I'm not throwing six grand at it, but pretty cool. Now, if you're looking to not spend a mortgage payment on an NFT, you don't have to. There's several Bills NFTs available on NFL All Day for a much, much cheaper price. Right now, you can get a Levi Wallace uh, NFT for $6, an Isaiah McKenzie NFT for $5. Uh, you can get a Stefan Diggs NFT for $8. So there's a variety of different options here. Now, I purchased a variety of different Bills NFTs, and we'll be taking a look at those in a minute. But to kick off this show, I wanted to open up a pack with you guys. All right, so in order to access the pack, we head over to collection. If you have any NFTs with NFL All Day, they'll be featured here. As you can see in my moments, I have four Buffalo Bills NFTs. I have a Devin Singletary, an Isaiah McKenzie, a Josh Allen, and a Stefan Diggs. We will be checking all of those out after we open up this pack. I'm super excited about this. This is the first NFT drop I've ever purchased. First time I've ever opened up an NFT pack or anything like this, and I'm doing it live with you guys right here. So here it is, standard series one, week 13. There's three moments inside. This is what it looks like, essentially looks like a pack of cards. And um, in order to open it, you click claim and open. And that's what I'm gonna do. You click on that and here it is. Pops up full screen and let's do it. Claim and open, three moments inside. Let's see what the NFT gods are giving your boy bot. So I click claim and open here. So here we go. It is, here we go, it's shaking, it's shaking. It is having a fit right now. And from what I can see, that means it's ready to open. Let's hit open pack and see what we got. Ooh, that was cool. 
Ooh, we got some music playing. I'm liking that. Woo! All right. They're really getting you hyped up here. There's, you can't buy, you cannot just buy a standard pack of trading cards from Walmart and get that type of delivery. Right off the bat, pretty cool. All right, you can hit reveal all at once. What's the fun in that? We're gonna reveal these one by one. We're gonna go from left to right. Let's reveal the first one. Here we go. We got a common Mac Hollins from the Dolphins. Come on, NFL all day. Do you think I want a Miami Dolphins touchdown? This is a common. There were 10,000 of these made. I have number 7,620. This is a Mac Hollins touchdown catch on December 5th in a W for the Miami Dolphins, a rare W at that. Guaranteed there's no NFTs for the Dolphins made against the Bills. So as you can see, that is the Mac Hollins NFT that I just opened up in this pack. I gotta tell you folks right off the bat, Let's reveal the second one. Hopefully we have some better luck this time around. Here we go. Second one, we're opening it up. Another common, and it's Olamide Zacchaeus. This is a, just a standard reception. Also on December 5th, 2021. Obviously this is from week 13. They'll all be on the same uh, date for the most part. Another NFT that comes with 10,000. And this is a common as well, like I said, number 4,759. This one comes in a game against the Tampa Bay Bucks in an L for the Atlanta Falcons. Pretty cool catch by Olamide there. Not the coolest thing in the world, but hey, better than a Miami Dolphins NFT, I guess. And then here we go, the final one. Let's pray, come on. Something good, something good. Come on, NFT gods. Give me something good, baby. We're revealing the last one. Here we go. What do we get? Another common. And this is AJ Moore Jr. And looks to be, let's see here, a tackle. Let's see what we got. It's on a punt. Ooh. Hit stick. Boom. AJ Moore absolutely nailing that dude. Now, crazy to think that they made that into an NFT, seeing that the Texans lost 31 to nothing in this game. But out of all three of those, that was probably my favorite, seeing that it was probably the coolest play. Now, this, is, this has a badge. Some of these have badges. So the Olamide one has an all-day debut badge. Uh, so does the Mac Hollins. So does the AJ Moore. I'll uh, hit the music here. All right, not going to lie to you folks. That was pretty damn weak. I was really hoping for a rare or a legendary, but when you buy the standard pack, beggars can't be choosers, it's the cheaper pack. You have a much less chance of getting something that's highly sought after, a cool play, cool player, uh, or one that's worth a lot. Um, this was a total bust, can't lie. Like, totally cannot lie. Not excited about these three at all, but that's what happens when you're going into opening up a pack of anything. It's a blind chance as to what you're gonna get. Sometimes you're gonna be over the moon stoked. Sometimes it's gonna be a total snoozer like this one was. That was that. It was fun opening it, I can't lie, but the contents of the pack, not so fun. Now let's have some fun with the moments that I actually enjoy owning, and that's the Buffalo Bills NFTs that I purchased. We'll start with the Stefan Diggs NFT. And this is the two-point conversion against the Chiefs in the divisional round. Absolutely absurd two-point conversion. Now, this is a NFT for Stephon Diggs because he caught it, but you could easily argue that this should have Josh Allen on the front of it. The mobility displayed by J.A. in this play was insane. He's scrambling around the backfield all over the place, extends the play. Look at that. Look at that play. I mean, that was absurd. This game, oh my God, how did we lose it? I'll never understand it. Oh my God. But what an incredible play. And as you can see in the recent purchases, the last one sold for $8. I got this one for, I think, around the same price. Um, so that was the Stefan Diggs NFT. Each one has a synopsis of what the play is. So as you can see here, 
Uh, Two-point attempt for wide receiver Stephon Diggs, KC versus Buff on January 23rd, 2022. And then it'll explain exactly what happened in the particular moment that is featured in this NFT. If you go through the... Uh, the front of the NFT is Stefan Diggs, obviously. The ending of it is the score. I'd rather not look at that. And then there's the back of it. Uh, it says divisional round, which is kind of cool because this is what that play was from. So let's check out the Josh Allen NFT that I picked up from the same game, the Chiefs divisional game. Sorry, I know. Uh, options were limited, but here is the play and it's Josh Allen on a scramble for a first down. I mean, the last two that we just looked at are, are sweet in the sense that it just shows off the athletic ability of Josh Allen. And there's very few quarterbacks who are doing what that guy can do. And we see it in both of those NFTs. So this is Josh Allen scrambling for a first down on fourth down against the Chiefs in the divisional. I have number 3,364 out of 8,500. And it says here that there's still over 1,100 of these remaining in packs. So if you open up a pack in the future here, potentially you could open up Josh Allen on the move for that first down against the Chiefs. Now here's the other two I have. Now luckily these two are not from that nightmare of a Chiefs game in the divisional. This is Devin Singletary uh, on December 19th against the Panthers and showing off Devin Singletary's shifty movements as he gets into the end zone. They're wearing the color rush, which is cool. Uh, it's a variation between the other, the other two where they're wearing the all white. Devin Singletary taking it to the house for a sweet touchdown against the Panthers. Bills obviously ran away with this one, uh, 31 to 14. I, I love the animation. That's the coolest part about these when they open up and close. Next time I interview Devin Singletary, I'm gonna say to him, dude, you, you do realize I own your touchdown against. Panthers. I understand you scored it, but I own it. So, and then the last one, we got a little dirty. Pick this one up. This one is from the game the day after Christmas against the Patriots, where the Bills finally silenced the people who thought that the Patriots are going to win the division. And it's a gorgeous catch by easily one of the most underrated players in the game. Lil Dirty, Isaiah McKenzie going up. Elevation where mama hides the cookies and grabbing that ball for the first down. Bills took this one 33-21. I think it's cool that they have a variety of different players. Um, you know, it's not based on popularity alone. It's not just Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen from the Bills. There's a variety of them. Outside of Buffalo, there might not be a, a ton of people within you know, common household fans who know Isaiah McKenzie. That's the cool part about this. Every fan, every diehard fan of a team can go on here and get their favorite player, which is awesome. So that's a wrap, Bills Mafia. NFL all day, NFL NFTs. They're here, it's brand new, it's awfully confusing at times, but it is cool and I think this is the future of collecting to a certain degree as the years go on and this is the ground floor of it, so. Hope you enjoyed checking it out. And if you wanna go and do it yourself, like I said, there'll be links uh, attached to wherever you're watching this where you can go and check out the website and purchase your own Bills NFTs if you wish. I'll see you on the next one, Bills Mafia. Thanks so much for tuning into this one. And as always, go Bills.